So I filmed a video earlier that had like dramatic makeup and then I went and showered and didn't really remove all the makeup in my face in the shower and I sat down to film this and I was just like, I really don't feel like brushing my hair. So I didn't. <laughs> PN, it is Thursday and my landscape is different. This is normally where I film and there's boxes because I'm packing, because I'm moving, because I got a job! So because I'm moving in with my friend on Saturday, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do tabletop stuff. Hopefully, at the minimum, I'll be able to watch the live stream, but, you know, moving. This fortnight we are talking about our tabletop gaming stuff in honor of International Tabletop Day, and I figured I would just show you my stuff as I pack it into this box. So in Super Munchkin box I have the base deck of Munchkin Bites, the base deck of Super Munchkin, and the second expansion of regular Munchkin. I also funded Story War and so I bought the expansion during the funding campaign and I've played this with my nephews. They love it and they always ask me to play Story War when I go attend family gatherings, so I will definitely be keeping these for ages. If I don't keep them, I know exactly who they need to go to. Before I moved from Nashville, I ended up having to get rid of all of my Cards Against the Humanity, but I did keep the fourth expansion box, but I kept all of the blank cards when I turned them in because I really like being able to make up the cards. My friend made a Cards Against Humanity deck, which is the base deck is the new Who, and then the expansion is going into original Who, and I really want to buy it. I also really want to make, like, Cards Against Westeros or other things like that. Another game to make the Nashville cut was Star Flux. I love this game, and this will probably be the one I take with me if I get to go somewhere for tabletop games. During the last tabletop day, I did get to pick out the sample of Geek Out as well as roll for it. The International Tabletop Day. And then, of course, the Evil Baby Orphanage original and the two expansions of the Crayon Manifesto and the Nerd Fighteria expansion. I'm actually going to not keep them as separate. I didn't want to do it because I really love the box artwork, but I am going to condense them into the little Evil Baby Orphanage tin. I wanted to kind of show the Nerd Fighter expansion. The Evil Baby is Christina Horner. In the original game, Puppy Sized Elephant was one of the good toys, but in the expansion there's French the Llama, Hankler Fish, Paper Towns, and then a bad toy is the Giant Squid of Anger. The ways to control your babies are in these, and so the Nerd Fighter gang sign, A Dangerous Day to Get Paid, which is an in-joke from Project for Awesome, An Abundance of Babies, Swedish Hip Hop, and Keep Calm and DFDBA. In the original, there are time machines that are plays on uh, time machines in science fiction, but in the expansions, they introduce the new rule of time nannies. So in the expansion, you get a John Green. I, I think there's a Hank Green somewhere, but I might not have pulled it out. But other time nannies are the Terminanny, and the Temporal Sitters Association. My nerdy pleasure of the week isn't tabletop because I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do it, but it is Game of Thrones comes back on Sunday and I'm so excited. The house that I'm moving into, the people I'm moving in with, they find that this is like a sacred hour of TV just like me. So, David, see you on Monday.